Hi, I'm Paul Riddle-Avage from Synergy Electrical Sales. Today I'm going to show you the basic sensor adjustments of the Lutron LOS CDT 2000 motion sensor. So this is the sensor. It's a dual technology sensor with ultrasonic sensing and passive infrared sensing in both of it. So the sensor has a lot of um, default settings and automatic adjustments in it. They work really, really well, but sometimes you do need, do need to go in and adjust things manually. So all right, these are the instructions that come with the sensor, and um, we're going to show you, again, the ones that I'm the most common with out in the field. So if we want to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor, that means, let's say lights are not shutting off in a space, um, we will go ahead and do that, and we have to turn this B4, there's a little dip switch there, we're going to turn that one on, um, and that's going to allow us to do that. All right. And then we have our passive infrared, which we can adjust over here. And we have our ultrasonic that we can adjust over here. So that's one adjustment that you may need, may need to make. The next one is regarding timeout. So the sensor default setting, it sets its own timeout. It keeps track of how long people are in the space, uh, how long lights are on and adjusts automatically. If you need to set it manually, you're going to have to turn the B3 dip switch on. And then this black dial gives us adjustment over here. So the, the dial, goes from about seven o'clock to five o'clock. Um, minimum is eight minutes, maximum of 30 minutes. If you want to set it to 15, which is a popular setting, you're going to need to set it to about 10 o'clock. Um, some of the other settings here, this um, over doorway, uh, I typically don't find sensors installed that way, so I don't use that one. Strong airflow, that one I've not personally used. Um, Learn settings, I I've not used that one. Generally, I find just switching to the B3 and the B4 um, and doing it manually is what I, I prefer. You could turn the LEDs off on a sensor because every time it searches, senses motion, you get a little green flash and a red flash uh, on the sensor. Um, and then the last one here that I adjust is this A2. So um, that's regarding uh, sensitivity. So the sensor in its default setting Right again, we have, we have ultrasonic here and we have passive infrared. Well, for the lights to come on, uh, if you walk into, let's say a corridor or a restroom, uh, for lights to go on, they have to sense with passive infrared um, first, and then it uses both technologies to keep the lights on. If you wanted it set up so that when uh, you walked in the space, the ultrasonic picked you up initially, that's where you would go ahead and turn that um, that A2 setting, we would turn that one on. And what that would mean is either sensor technology uh, could turn the lights on for you as well. So that's going to give you more adjustability with it in the sensor. So once you have that, then you can adjust the passive infrared and the ultrasonic up and down. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this helped.